If these rocks at Arakoon could talk, what a story they could tell. The rocks along the break wall at Nambucca Heads tell a different story. Stroll along the walkway and these huge boulders have become a showpiece for visitors to display their messages, their memories and their observations. However, just to the south, at Arakoon, is a headland called Lagger's Point, where over a century ago, another break wall was attempted, but never completed. The outcome of that project could be seen as a history of blunders. In the lee of Lagers Point is a deep water bay called Trial Bay, named after a wreck found in the bay in the early 1800s. In the following years, many ships were lost attempting to enter the busy port on the Maclay River. A decision was made to build a 1500 metre long break wall at Lagers Point to make the bay a harbour of refuge during bad weather for any ships sailing up and down the east coast. The question was, how was it going to be built? There had to be a big workforce. So in 1877, many convicts from other areas were moved to Trial Bay, firstly to build a maximum security prison. Built as an example of the latest prison design, it would house the inmates while they constructed the break wall out into the ocean from Lagos Point. As you would expect, there were many problems. The local stone was extremely hard and there were few stonemasons among the convict workers. They had limited equipment with only steam-powered drills and horse-powered cranes. Even after nine years of hard labour, Trial Bay Jail was still only partially completed. The building of that break wall was another story. Extracting and transporting the boulders to the break wall site was extremely difficult and costly. Many times heavy storms would break down their work as soon as it was built. In 1899, the authorities made another bad decision to extend the jail in the belief that the work on the wall would continue with the need for a larger workforce. However, by 1903, with less than a third of the wall completed, the whole costly project was abandoned. By this time, ships were rarely calling at Maclay River. The Smoky Cape Lighthouse was built, saving the shipping disasters of the past, and the need for a safe harbour had diminished. Today, the remains of the wall can still be seen below the jail. It's more than 125 years since the construction work on the jail began. Observing these walls after that length of time it is hard to imagine the stone masonry skills, the workmanship and engineering knowledge needed to construct these massive walls. Most of the convicts would have been untrained labourers. It took a long time, but was a remarkable achievement. In hindsight, you have to wonder at the bureaucratic decisions that were taken and the blunders made during the life of the whole project. Hundreds of convicts building a huge maximum security jail to house themselves so they could build a break wall that was never finished. After a period in detention, most of the convicts were well behaved and the prison operated on a more or less open gate policy so the need to build a maximum security jail was absolutely unnecessary. Eventually the jail was closed in the early 1900s and remained empty until the First World War 
When for a short time German prisoners and residents, the so-called enemy aliens, were interned there. In 1922, the last inmate left the prison. Trial Bay Jail has to be unique among jails. Today it is an important heritage site and museum, situated on that headland, surrounded by wonderful seascapes.